lot of people told us, you guys are really lucky you have 150 years worth of data you know, in, in baseball. The reality was uh, that was probably more harmful than helpful in many respects because the data wasn't exactly what we wanted you know, in terms of evaluating players. And sometimes the data was uh, a little misleading. Other times it was sort of downright wrong. You know? and it, so that it, be, it became a real challenge because not only did we want to gather data a different way or were we interested in different types of data, but there was this ingrained mindset from 150 years of this is the data we have. And because we have it, it's meaningful. We didn't believe that data was necessarily a crystal ball into the future, but maybe it was uh, more of more sort of a torch through an otherwise very dark cave, you know, that would, that would at least give you a general sense of direction. We knew we were still going to be wrong a lot of the time, but what we were trying to do with the data was just stack the odds in our favor. So in this game of uncertainty where we know we're wrong a lot on, you know, trying to predict player performance, how can we just be wrong a little less often? When we're in the draft, there might be a thousand players that we're choosing from. How do we begin to separate those players? The data could really help us by maybe categorizing the players the right way, but it didn't necessarily always lead us to the right answer, and that's where sort of the huge human judgment expertise of our scouts would really come in and, uh, and really try to understand how a player was, was achieving some of the things he achieved. There might be two players that have the exact same stats, but they may have achieved those stats very differently against different competition, in a different environment, you know, et cetera. And those are the things that we really needed to understand. Technology has helped us dramatically. I mean, first it was, you know, 20 years ago, it was even, you know, spreadsheets were very helpful compared to what they had previously. And now there's just, there's so much more technology, whether it's video or GPS data, there's just, there's so much more now we have on every interaction that we couldn't even imagine having, you know, t even 10 or 15 years ago potentially creates a lot more noise also, where you may have an idea that uh, X is influencing Y, and just because now there are thousands of more X's, you know, and just still just the one Y, and there might be a lot of false positives in there. So you have to be, you know, really careful and really diligent about it. But I think it's a real challenge, not just in sports, but in the world in general, just because the amount of data and information that's available to all of us in our fields has exploded, you know, in the last 10 or 15 years, and is probably just going to continue to explode over the next 10 or 15.